Hey there, I got fired. Yeah, that's it. What are you doing here? I got fired. Yes, you heard me correctly. I got fired from my job as a political cadet from the police academy. One of my dream jobs out there, for real. Um, if you see me smiling or feeling, you know, a little bit better for someone that just got fired, I'm not, but I've had some time to get over it a little bit and move, move forward. I got fired back in November last year. This is February, so I kind of like a, had a little bit of a space before I made this video. And I was like, okay, finally I can come to terms with it. I really wasn't sure what the future held for me and what other future opportunities were out there for me per se. And that was one of the main reasons why I did not make this video a lot earlier. Um, well, because I did not want to mess up or derail those other future opportunities by anything I might say in this video. But yeah, um, I got fired from my job as a police cadet in the academy. And I'm really going to try and keep this video as short as possible. We're going to break this video down into four parts. I'm going to give you a little history, number one. I'm going to give you why I got fired, number two. I'm going to give you what I've been doing ever since and what's next for me. So, how about a little history, y'all? So, I was a police cadet at the academy and um, I was yeah, from my previous videos that some of y'all have seen already. Thank you so much for the views. Thank you to all of my subscribers that's been here watching the journey the whole time, seeing my documented past about being in the police academy and what has been going on so far. And actually, you guys are one of the reasons why I'm making this video today because I did not want to give an illusion of something that I'm not while you felt like I was still in the academy when I clearly was not. Which be almost like impersonating, but not really. But I did not want to, you know, um, give you an idea that I was still a cadet in the academy. But one of the major reasons why I said I did not post it earlier was because I did not do really any other opportunities. And also, you know, I was just not mentally in a place where so I was like, okay, let me open up and say everything out there. But so everyone that's been out there with me so far, thank you very much. And real quick, if you do want to unsubscribe, because I know many of you have subscribed to my channel because of seeing police content, which I probably would not be able to provide to you, at least for for now, for a while probably. Um, yeah, it's perfect. It's perfectly fine if you guys decide to like unsubscribe and go to a different channel that gives you the kind of content. But I appreciate each and every one of you that I have subscribed so far and you know helped me with my views so far and likes and all that good stuff. Water break. So quick history. I was a police cadet at the police academy. I was with Temple Police um, Department, and um, that's in Texas here. And what else was there? Nothing really much to tell, but yeah, I was also in the army, honorable discharge, several awards, I mean, I'm achieving my medal, there are ARCOMs, got a whole bunch of good stuff going on there for me from the army. Got my DD-214, decides, you know, maybe it's time to become a cop. They get pretty, pretty good. Everything else is nice outside. Army was kind of like, I was not really sure I was going to go. Um, so I decided to become a cop. And um, it was perfectly situated. It wasn't so far from my previous job. It was where I currently stayed. Everything seemed perfectly fine. So I got over there. Now, next question: Why did I get fired? Which is several. Which many of y'all like to know? Why did I get fired? I got fired because of an altercation at work. Basically, I was involved in a argument with a lady at the academy at which I was. Um, do my academy ads. I got into arguments with all the staff members there. So what happened was I went into the gym and on previous occasions and previous other things that felt like this um, particular staff member and other staff members at the gym had personally been um, looking at me because I stayed in the gym for so long because you know well we like to work out and stuff um, but I've basically been a person of interest in certain things when it came to the gym and I was always picked out by among several others um, for questioning in the gym so things were already kind of like an awkward but I never brought this up to my supervisor because I was like it ain't that deep let it go um, however this one day the staff member was personally to me anyways I felt like I felt like she was rude to me and um, I went I had to go confront her with 
what I felt like with my grievances. And but as a cop, you're not supposed to do that. For lack of better words, as a cop, you're supposed to just eat shit. You get me? Um, you can't just be like, oh, there's a grievance. I'm gonna go say this real quick and try and no, you can't do that. One of the co we go to several courses in our academy, and one of the one of the major courses that you go through de-escalation, and de-escalation is you eating shit and not, and not um, pushing things further. And that was the one thing I did not do. I did not de-escalate. I should have just kept all whatever I, how I felt to myself. And um, yeah, when I went to go do the it's my grievance later, she was she kept on being rude, and there was a lot of back and forth arguments, and. Um, there was a little bit of an investigation into it and my department deemed it fit that I was not fit for the department. And on the 20th of November 2022, my ass got fired. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's really it. It sucks because I had to go through EVOC and EVOC was long and tiring but we made it through. I had to go to the fighting phase so my body had to go through a lot of beating from my fellow police cadets as well. And I passed that and I passed a whole lot. Like I said, I was like in the top in my class, 96, 97 percentile. Um, things were growing great, fitness-wise, of course, A1. But um, um, it, it sucked that it happened, of course. And eventually, it does. The, I was I had a month left. I was supposed to graduate in December 2022, and November 28th I got fired. Now, next thing, was I expecting to get fired? Absolutely not. I personally felt like that was a mistake that I made. I made a big mistake because um, it was um, it was something I should have done better. As a police cadet, you expected the best from because you represent not just yourself, but you also represent your department and you represent your city and everything. So you, you know, these days the police don't have really not have the best, you know, out of image out there, especially with social media and everything. But this was nothing like any of the things that I personally experienced um, but I should have still done a better job because what if tomorrow another day the situation could be a whole lot different and a lot worse and I should have done a better job of just de-escalating the situation which I did not do which eventually cost me my job and also my department was at real place so as a cadet you can't like how I put that you know you as a cadet you're working on water working on ice like a very, very thin ice like they can fire you for the smallest things, you know. Back in the army, if you don't like during busy training and everything, if you don't pass one thing, it's kind of like a little easy, and you can just get away with it. In the academy, you know, these kind of things occur. You know, depending on the kind of department that you're in, they're gonna let you go. They're gonna let you go. It's not that you know. It's not all roses out there. So yeah, I was not expecting to get fired, of course. Um. I felt like if anything, this was more of like a learning opportunity. Everybody makes mistakes, as they make everybody know. Everybody makes mistakes, and um, you know, um, I feel. And also, it was not a formal complaint or anything against me. I just felt like it was one of those learning moments for me, and I could have just worked better into building myself to become a better police officer. But I never got that chance or opportunity. It's kind of like a one and done. If you mess up one time, you're out, buddy. So yeah, that was what happened. That definitely sucked, but um, it's all good. Um, the future is looking bright. And on that note, that brings me to my third section of this video. Um, what have I been doing so far? Well, when I got fired, uh, I um, first of all used the whole month to myself to get myself back. My family also came over because they were they had planned the flight for my graduation, but that didn't happen, of course. So we still got a chance to hang out and meet my family. That was pretty cool because they all knew in all different states. And that was pretty cool. And um, well, after they had gone, and back in January when everything fully settled in, yeah, I started doing my um, my um, part-time job as a full-time job as a DoorDash delivery driver. I also had this GrubHub um, app I was using as a GrubHub delivery driver as well, and I was using those two, and those kind of like became my full-time job for like a little bit. And um, I had a CDL, I have a CDL A license, so I started applying for other CDL jobs for like truckers and stuff. And I was like, I'm not really sure this I wanna, what I want to really do per se. So I started applying to something I like doing, which is this, making videos, um, content creation. So that's been going well, well, so far so good. Content creation, um, it doesn't pay as well as a police officer, of course, getting paid like almost $30 an hour. Um, but it's definitely a nice little start. 
Um, it's been helping out, working out well. I'm pretty good at content creation. I got my TikTok, Instagram, I got my YouTube. Um, so this, I had some ideas also while I was in the army. They also gave me some awards in the army for making creations, content for the army. Go at me, even message me on Instagram and follow me on Instagram one time. So that was pretty cool. So those ideas coming off my head and you know helping all these other brands, it pays the bills a little bit. So yeah, but that's what I started out with though, with the DoorDash delivery, grow delivery. I still even do it just now, just in case. And that brings me to my fourth part of this video, which is the last part. Like I said, I'm gonna try and keep this as short as possible. What else is left for me? Well, I was thinking, well, maybe this is the chance to finally go back into something that I like doing. A dream job, an actual dream job, which has become a lawyer. Now, I know I was going to be a police officer, but even while I was going to be a cop, my plan was to go to law school at the, at the same time, maybe like during the weekends or whatever, or trying to like plan my schedule or whatever, and still go to law school. Um, so now I think I'm going to go full time into it and just try and figure out how to become a lawyer, or at least go back, maybe go back into the army and start as a paralegal. Um, but the legal field, either as a paralegal or as a lawyer, is definitely one of the th chances um, I've always been looking forward to getting. And just in case you guys are wondering, I also applied to other police departments, but other police departments kind of like said no to me because of number one, um, the the range in between I when I got fired and when I'm reapplying for IR different police departments, I feel like it's not enough time for me to have learned my lesson and be a better person. Um, I've also not, I've also not a lot of uh, other people like this now. Very, very favorable experience between when I got fired, you know. So for example, to redeem myself, I could go to a different department and work as a detention jailer or something, build my way back up type stuff. But I don't think I'll be going that route again, at least just, not just for now, you know. If it works out, then it works out, but I think I'm finally going, going to my dream job as a lawyer, hopefully it pans out well. But yeah, keeping it real short, man. Um, I appreciate each and every one of y'all for being there with me throughout this whole journey of being in the academy. The academy was fun. I do not regret any single part of it. It was fun. I, uh, meeting people over there in the academy was definitely fun. I learned a whole lot of stuff that's gonna help me out in my future in general. And um, is affliction, rises, affliction rises against every single person out there. It's not about what happens to you during this affliction, it's how you deal with it and how you respond to it. And that's what I'm taking from this. How do I respond to this affliction? How do I respond to these crazy moments in my life right now? So that's what I can do. How do I bounce back? Because there is going to be a bounce back. But how do I bounce back? When do I bounce back? And what can I do in the process to bounce back? And that's what I'm just going to focus on right now. But I appreciate each and every one of y'all for being there so far. I can't thank each and every one of y'all enough. Uh, I started off my YouTube with like 20 subscribers, people in my academy probably, and then I went from 20 and now I'm on like 859. I feel like I could get a thousand before before the middle of this month. I feel like I could get to a thousand easily. So I, I appreciate each and every one of y'all for just being there watching me so far. And I feel like I also owe y'all this honesty to let you know what's been going on with me and the academy and all. Um, but yeah, sorry it took so long to post this video. Um, I'm gonna see what kind of content I can see on. He still keep on helping you guys out with. One thing for sure is, even though I got fired, I still have all of the knowledge and everything that helped me even actually get hired in the first place. That also might help you out. So if you still wanna stay by and stay subscribed, stay tuned because I can also make videos about it and I will make videos about things like that just to help you out as well. But for now, that's it from me today. Um, thanks for watching. <laughs> as usual, peace and love, yo. Till next time, bye-bye.